you have your headphones on, listening to music, when a McDonald's cup appears over your shoulder, <laughs> attached to a hand, attached to a man, attached to a voice, just a faint mumble under the music. Hello? Addressing the whole carriage, and not you di directly, you stare at your phone. Adele's face is staring back at you. <laughs> You've been listening to it on repeat for a week, and you wonder what it must be like to be a millionaire at 19, 21, or 25. <laughs> the lady opposite you goes into her purse and produces some coins. He brings his cup forward. She brings her hand forward. They meet in front of your face and clink, the coins go into your cup. But it hovers there with a slight jolting of the train's bumps and turns. But you continue to stare at your phone. And when this man's hand disappears, you know he's still near and the smell. And you think to yourself, if I can ignore this, no wonder I'm so desensitized to what I see online. Is this man, his hand, and his McDonald's cup any more real or surreal to me than Trayvon Martin's packet of Skittles, than Eric Gardner's haunting last words, than little A-line Curdy's body on a beach, than the night of bloodshed in Paris, than airstrikes on Syria? I've forgotten how it felt before the world fell at our feet. There's such a difference between us and a million miles. In a recent interview with Graham Norton, Adele said her tweets have to go through two people before they're posted online. Her management made this decision after too many drunken tweets and opinions. I often wanna delete every tweet, Facebook message, and picture on my Instagram. I want an, are you sure button? And then an, are you really sure button? <laughs> before the one that lets you post online. <laughs> These words and images can haunt us like a ghost wearing our own face. But now there's this app called Snapchat that shows you fleeting moments that you can never get back and its logo is a ghost. But isn't that just life? Fleeting moments that you can never get back. I mean, that's not you anymore. And that's not you anymore. Every moment that passes, we are different to who we were before. And yet we build digital monuments to ourselves, curate galleries of selfies, <laughs> publish our opinions about everything, because you've got to have an opinion about everything, and tell everyone everything you think about everything. I mean, think about it. Now, tell me what you think about it, so I can tell you what I think about what you think about it, and you can tell me what you think about what I think about what you think about it, but you mustn't think without posting something. Because, I mean, how would anyone know you're thinking? <laughs> Let's think about something else. Um, I never needed a nightlight as a child. The dark never frightened me. No monsters lurking in the shadows or under the bed or in my head. But now, my phone is both my nightlight and the way the monsters get in. When I log on to social media, the world's woes, wars, and worries come tumbling into my phone. So sometimes I just need to disconnect and, and spend some time on my own. When I disconnect from social media, I, I reconnect with myself. Um, I, I reconnect with myself. I spend more time thinking about my physical and mental health. When I Disconnect from social media, I breathe a sigh of relief. No wars are waged, no, no terror attacks, no refugees, no grief. A friend of mine, he only ever tweeted once, and he's dead now. But his Twitter account follows me. He will always follow me. He'll always be smiling in his profile picture and in my memory. At the funeral, a friend said she found out via Facebook. I wanted to see his dead body to know it was really true. Social media is an open coffin at the front of a church. It's up to you if you want to go and look in, but don't say you haven't been warned. Trigger warnings. Ableism. Abusive relationship. Ageism. 
alcoholism, amputation, animal abuse, animal death, bestiality, blood, bodies, bones, bullying, cannibalism, car accident, child abuse, classism, cyberbullying, death, dying, death penalty, decapitation, domestic abuse, drinking, drug use, eating disorder, fat phobia, forced captivity, graphic sex, guns, holocaust, homophobia, hospitalization, hostages, hunting, incest, kidnapping, medical procedures, murder, Nazi paraphernalia, needles, overdose, paedophilia, poisoning, prostitution, PTSD, racism, rape, ritualistic self-harm, scarification, self-harm, serious injury, sexism, sexual abuse, skeletons, skulls, slavery, slurs, terminal illness, terrorism, torture, transphobia, violence, warfare, weapons, 9-11. I mean, not everyone needs these trigger warnings. Not everyone is uh, afraid of the dark. Not everyone can see the monsters. Everyone's relationship to social media is different. Just like everyone's relationship to Adele <laughs> or to themselves. Headphones on, listening to music. When a McDonald's cup appears over your shoulder, attached to a hand, attached to a man, attached to a voice, just a faint mumble under the music, hello. But this time you look up to see he is wearing your face. <laughs>